the next day in the mystic part of the forest just after the sunset. Yeah, because the mission couldn't take... I mean, it couldn't happen at any other time because the units would burn. Such is the description of Chapter 3, Perpetual Eclipse. Another ambush! The Guardians of the Eternal Fire! We are saved! Greetings, Great Sage. It seems that we just arrived at the right time. Not really. We have just lost our last two lizards. Those beings were most valuable. I am not going to waste the divine power of Tower only to resurrect a couple of lizards. As you wish. As Tower wishes. Anyway, your work until now has been excellent. I am aware of what you did with that hunter's village. Not to forget that again we control the main gate to the service. Nothing has been done since everything had already happened. Always speaking in riddles. Is that what you call wisdom? You know where we are, don't you? Of course I know. In this place we build the sacred city of the Cold Flame. All these mystic powers in the environment are nothing but the remnants of the glory of our destroyed city. Powers that actually we brought here. And all these bunch of pseudo-divine creatures are nothing but poor creeps that have been intoxicated with energies that they cannot handle. I feel too much pity about these twisted creatures. They venerate a sacred what only was a toy for us. About that, they are wiser than us. Well... This mission has the most importance if we are ever going to bring the Triax army to the surface. That is the reason of why I am here. We cannot allow ourselves to fail. My presence here doesn't mean that things are going to be easier now, but all contrary, things are going to be even harder. Especially because we are already late. As you should have realized, the elves are not as primitive as I expected and they have acquired some magic powers. So, we must proceed with the same cunning and caution as we have already been doing. If we succeed, we will not have to be afraid of the sunlight curse anymore. There is a rock that was a piece of the Cold Flame Temple in the island at the center of the lake. These creatures call it the Moonstone. Our first step is to destroy it, and then I will tell you the rest. Oh, I get it. I get it. You know the mission is called Eternal Eclipse, right? Or something like that. So basically we're going to destroy the moonstone and do something with the sun. So it's always going to be night time. Eh? Eh? How does that sound? Pretty... Oh, must be finished before dawn. Shite. Uh, I better save before I start talking. Or at least pause, okay? <sighs> okay.
Okay, so I think that's what's gonna be happening. So I have two heroes. I have I have a new one. That's the high priest, and there are new units. So let's have a look. Yeah. Another cinematic. Of course, the codices of the city. Well, it seems that they now belong to the blue dragons. You have a very twisted sense of humor. Those stupid creatures don't even know what they're for. Should we reco re recover them? You even ask? We cannot leave those codices. Besides, as soon as we get them, all I as soon as we get them all, I will be able to recall some mages that are just waiting for the moment to aid us. Either you or me. Bring any of your heroes to the first codex. So they're not codices, but codexes. Am I right? That's what I was thinking about. And that's why I fucked up twice in in the cinematic part. Okay. Guardian of Eternal Flame. Improved version of the Ancestral Warrior, which I haven't gotten my hands on yet. High, priest pers high Priest's Personal Guard. So, yeah, this, this hero's Personal Guard. Whoa, that's a lot of them, actually. I think it's about eight. I see six, but I think there's more. Has Immolation and Evade, Sunlight Vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Ancestral Priest, Supporting Spellcaster with Spell Immunity, that's very nice, especially on, on the Supporting Spellcaster. Can cast Eclipse, Healing Wave, and Ultimate transforms itself into an Ethereal Drake. Sunlight Vulnerable. Everything in here is Sunlight Vulnerable. Only the Architects would survive because they can burrow. Everyone else would die. Okay. So, four priests, okay, I'm just gonna put them all into one control group, because they're all ranged, and I need them all alive. I mean, I don't need these alive, but they're healers, so why shouldn't I try to keep them all alive? And this is, this has to be researched, damn it. I knew it wouldn't be right from the start, I mean, turned on right from the start. Alright, two, three... And then a lot of black ventar. I have no red ones. Well, damn it. It's actually a pretty nice scouting tool. Mystic protectors. I think I want the architect's burrow. And actually... Yep, I'll try to keep alive as many as I can. Well, I lost the Ventar, but hey. Haven't lost anyone else yet. I don't know what was the reason of this. Oh, I get it. Because this is the way inland. I haven't gotten that text yet. Okay. So I've lost one Ventar so far. I think I could have avoided it. Oh, here's extra one. I mean, here's another one. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, these priests shouldn't travel in the front, because, you know, they're priests. Those are re usually not good at fighting. And if they are, they're not called priests, I think. That's how, it, that's how it is. Man, these have a lot of armor. Actually, pretty nice. Okay, I'll need the Ventar for this one. Also the architects. Oh, fucking hell. No, I'm not losing a priest. Not for that. Not, not, not because I was trying to manage my units and failed. Friggin' hell. Oh no. <sighs> oh cool, I, I could skip it. Okay, I thought for a moment that I couldn't, that I wouldn't be allowed to skip. And actually I saved some time as well. Not, not a lot of it, but hey, at least some. One, two... Three, and these are gonna be four, because I'm gonna be using them the least. One, two, three. One, two, three, there we go. I'm actually gonna grab a dragon, because why the heck not? 
If I had a level 3 Hypnot... Yeah, I could take... Hmm. Never mind. Alright. Here's that other one. Uh, what is it? Bring any. Uh, I think that for the first one, I'm gonna use the priest, just to know what those cod codexes do. And for every subsequent one, I'm gonna use the sage. Because I don't like the priest that much. Codex of Frost. When carried, adds frost effect to attacks. When used, teleports 12 units. Reveals the entire map. Sure. It's nice. Alright, alright. There's an elven base. Another elven base. And another one. And actually none. I think maybe I'll be... Supposed to get a base over here? Oh, I think that's what's gonna follow after I uh, destroy the stone. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have time to explore. That's why the ar that's why I have the architects. I think. I mean, aside from them being basic or basic archer units, uh, is there actually a better way? This was revealed, so there's this is probably the end. Fuck off! I'm trying to do something here. Nope. No. Haven't even had a look at his abilities. Oh, mana regeneration, I'll take that. Banish and fire elemental, or whatever. Oh, I've lost another one. Damn it. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a just frost effects. Not that it would freeze buildings. It's really nice. I think that I value that more on... Uh, actually, who has larger attack range? They both have the same, but I think I'm gonna uh, be using the Sage more often, so... Unbro. I don't know if there are any more units along the path. I guess we're gonna see soon enough. I think there are just... Oh, yeah. There's a turtle, and then there's a bunch of murlocs, and then there's the actual stone. But hey, I still have some time. Those are really good. They don't have, like, any how amazing damage, but the amount of health, armor, and evasion is really nice. Yeah, you're all gonna burn in hell, I can promise you that much. Oh no. No. Bad Hydra. Bad. Why can't I turn off the em emulation? emulation? Does that mean that someone got... Someone's hexed, yeah? Yeah, there we go. Oh, you ate one of mine. Well, then prepare to die, that's for sure. I'm gonna lose another Pentar. Or maybe not. Hey, hey, got my guardian back. Feels good, man. Mass teleport, great. Resurrection, heavy mana regen aura. That's perfect for the situation, actually. Really perfect. Well, I have a feeling, only a slight feeling, that the healing wave heals a lot more than it says it does, because I had one of the, one of the architects nearly dead. So that means probably like 160 HP. And the healing wave healed him to full health. It's just my suspicion, okay? Don't take it anyhow seriously, but I... I just want to let you know that I have a suspicion that it heals more than it should. Than it is, than it is intended to heal, okay? Oh, I can't bring the Ventar in, because they're gonna get shredded by the... Uh... Whoa. That hurt. Quite a lot. Yeah, I think it heals a lot more. 4 times 130 
is not like 700 because the health of the fire of the guardian were like orange i think this is really no don't you dare <laughs> i'm not letting you snipe my healers no i say no i mean no But it's also good that whoever has uh, the freezing attack prioritizes buildings that are not frozen first, right? It's pretty nice. Like the the unit with uh, the hero with that item acts as if they were a frost worm, because when you send a frost worm against buildings, I think it's gonna always attack the attacking buildings, freeze those, and once they're not attacking anymore, it's gonna focus onto all others. And what I mean by that is there were two Treants, and the Sage attacked one Treant, and once it was frozen, he switched over to the other. Oh, whoops. There we go. There's a friggin' Chimera. Like, I can beat it with the Ventar, but the Dryads are gonna focus... Eh. Ah, whatever. Screw it! I don't know if it's intended for the priests to heal this much health, or if uh, if it's a bug in the data, or if it's uh, if it's a bug or in the description. I, I really can't tell. All right, three thousand health on the moonstone. I still have some time left, but I don't know if I will have any more tasks. So let's just get rid of the stone right away. I mean, I feel pretty confident. I have a scroll of restoration, resurrection, heavy mana regen. Yeah. Oh! A moonstone. Mm. Everything is proceeding as it should. Now I will perform a ritual so I will be able to control again the dark powers of the cold flame. It was too easy to destroy the moonstone. There is too much silence here. I wouldn't be surprised if they ambush us again. Then you already know what you have to do. The ritual must not be interrupted. I guess he means building a base. Eh, fine. What does the moonstone do? Oh my god, get out of the way. Thanks. Everyone getting stuck on everything. Hmm. What's this? Oh. Eh. Eh, whatever. Alright, fine. Here, have the wand. Oh my... F <laughs> no, this is not happening. It's like, literally everyone is getting stuck. Alright, you. Oh, 40 seconds? Just? I mean, okay. Think I'll be able to defend from that if any elves appear. Oh, here they are, hippogriffs. Wait, when? Since when do the hippogriffs have mana burn? The heck? I beg to differ that hippogriffs shouldn't have a mana burn. Oh, my Ventar are getting torn to pieces. At least I noticed that and I can keep at least some alive. Alright, perpetual, perpetual, that's the word. Now that I have recovered the powers of the cold flame. And with the shards of the moonstone we just destroyed. We will, be, we will be able to build a new kind of city. This building will protect us from the light, bringing perpetual darkness to the sky. 
Architects, I want you to immediate, immediately start to build this new structure and upgrade it to its ultimate form, the City of the Eternal Fire. So, base building time? The Sunlight Curse. As you already know, there are certain units that are sunlight vulnerable. These are the explicit ancestral units. When the time of the day is between 6 and 11, these units start to lose hit points at a very fast rate until they die. So they don't instantly die, that's good to know. These units are the Ancestral Architect, Warrior, Priest, Mage, and Ethereal Drake. Also, the heroes, the High Priest, and the Triax Commander are Sunlight Vulnerable. Yep, Sage is not, because he's not named in the heroes, that's good because I can keep mind-controlling enemies with him. To protect itself from the sunlight, the Ancestral Ar Architect can burrow itself, but is the only unit that, that can do that. For the rest of the sunlight vulnerable units, there is nothing that can protect them from this damage during the day. Thereby, special spells have been developed to protect these units. Perpetual Eclipse. You can cast this spell at your Eclipse Ziggurat or any of its upgrades. The Eclipse lasts 300 seconds, and it has a cooldown of 290. Eclipse, the priests have a short version that only lasts 60 seconds. That is not much, but can help in case of an emergency. To keep your ancestral units alive, you will have to periodically cast Perpetual Eclipse at your hometown. It is not automatic. It shouldn't be a problem. If I put the uh, Ziggurats into Group 0, Basic hints. It is not really necessary, but having more than one hometown could be safer. To get an idea of how much time remains of the actual perpetual eclipse, you can look at the cooldown progress clock that appears at the icon where you cast at the spell. Exactly the same button that you press to cast the spell. That, that was nice. Pretty explan good explanation. So, things are going well for you, aren't they? Oh, you again. My little twisted lizard, we are not going to allow you to take our forest and to misuse its magic. You have already desecrated this forest, and now you want to bring darkness to this world of light. This is only a flow of the destiny, nothing else. So for the last time, just stay away and you will survive. It is clear to me that our new city is not going to be safe unless we eliminate the plague of corrupted beings from that inhabits this land. We will give to them the peace of dead. Who are you to speak with so much pride? Not until the end of the battle will know who stares and who dies. You must know that Laradar is not alone, wicked lizards. Poor creeps, they just can't realize that the result of this battle has already been settled. Alright, like, at the moment when... Alright, I have 1000 gold, okay. You know, like, at the moment when the camera moved over to the Griffins, I was praying, literally praying, to not have to do a Griffin voiceover, because I have no idea how would I do that. I'm glad that I didn't have to in the end. Alright, Eternal Flame Burner. Nice, I can get uh, that regenerates, right? Yeah, and I have to... Alright, I'll get a Ventar Cavern. Fine. Get a Burner. And Barracks will have to wait. Alright, so I'll gather some wood beforehand. I know that I don't have anywhere to deliver it to, but hey, I can still gather some and then... Then, uh, go with it to the ziggurat. Just basically do something with the time that I have on my hands. Alright, how much wood is this gonna be? I think a lot. I actually don't know if I need it for anything, though. Job's done. 
Now you have the Eclipse Ziggurat, you can cast Eclipse and protect all your ancestral units from the sunlight. And this, this, this one actually wasn't in the control group, so if, even if you lost all architects, you would have at least one to build your base with. That's nice, that's really nice. No, I don't think I need wood for anything. <laughs> Alright, so, five of you will go and gather me some gold. Ventar can do this as well, but they carry less. Oh, I actually have high upkeep? What the heck? Oh, upgrades weapons. Nice. Oh, and lumber harvesting? No, gold. Upgrades gold harvesting. Man. It sounds very nice. Alright, so... Cast Perpetual Eclipse. Forbidden Citadel. Oh. Nice. I do want that. Because the priests... The only way they can die to griffins... Is like... Uh, not griffins. The only way that the priests can die if I keep them in the back... Is a surprise Hippogriff mana burn. Because they have exact amount of health and mana. So, and they don't seem to regenerate anyhow. All ancestral units don't regenerate health, except the hero. They only regenerate when near the uh, flame burner. Alright, so. I need a citadel for that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I will have to leave some units to defend, though, and I don't like that idea. Actually, don't. I can leave the priest behind, give him the relic, and just teleport some units back. Because, like, I don't want to keep... Oh no, never mind. Never mind. I can I can just use the mass teleport. What am I thinking? There. Is this more than 24? It has to be, right? But I can take the flyers away and it'll be less than 24, I think. Alright, so I do have a general idea of how does the terrain look like. I mean, here's a gold mine, but I don't need that. Let's upgrade this. You know, like, I couldn't afford to do this up... Actually, I could. During the day. Never mind. Mountain Giants. They're pretty weak. They're guarding a... Actually, why don't... Why don't I just fuck with them? Oh, I see why. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna be much of a threat, though. Like, really, why do Hippogriffs have mana burn? That that puzzles me a bit. Oh, I lost another one. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a lot of Ventar, it seems. Uh, but I will... Yeah, I will have to retrain some eventually. Alright, I think I'll be able to deal with the Mountain Giant base before they even uh, retaliate. Come on. There we go. So that's perfectly fine by me. Level seven. What what level are actually the mountain giants? Are they like eight or nine? Because if there were seven, I could steal some. Needless to say, I can also steal a wisp. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten that I can do that. But my question is, do I want to do that? Like, right now my units are looking better than, than what I can get from elves. Chimeras also suck, because like, Ventar are so much better than Chimeras. Especially the red Ventar, which I don't have yet, you know, but... Oh, hey, hasn't? Oh, there's gonna be a Codex, right, right. Oh, come on! I'm trying to not lose any more, and I can. 
I know I got blo I know I blocked my un units with uh, the architect, but still. <sighs> really? Rats? Oh, fuck you then. Where was it? There it is. Oh, wow. Oh, no, give it back. That's my unit. She can I... Uh, can the elemental attack here? It seems that it can. Oh, yeah. Mine. Mine now. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't mind control the other one, but whatever. There we go. Excellent. Actually, I could... In theory, I could... Yeah, that doesn't sound like a... My god. Again. Alright, fine. I'll take the other one. Thanks. Alright, you have a free inventory slot, so let's see what's it gonna be. Another Codex of Frost. Uh, sure. I expected there would be something different, but okay. Fine, I'll take it. Alright, build. Excellent. Which one is it? That one? No. No. This one. Alright. If I can uh, really finish off... I mean, this is nice because I start with a gold mine, but this position is much better because it's in corner of the map. Less success routes. Has it? Oh, it's uh, it's either because the giant is too high level or because they have resistant skin. Nice layout of the map, though. Thematic. It's thematic. Give me that. Mine now. Hey, I said mine now. Nope. That was close. That was almost too close. Oh, you're attacking from behind, are you? Well, not for long. Man, without a healing wave, my losses would be pretty large. But it seems like... It seems like the healing wave is OP. Especially if it has low cooldown, low mana cost, and heals more than it should. If if I'm correct, right? I might I might not be. Hmm. Whoops, get that priest out of there. Oh, oh, oh. Nearly forgot. Alright, finish off. Finish off the main tree. Right, now, now it can't make any more wisps. Not like it could make any before, because I froze it, but hey. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, uh... I'll need... To, I'll put all all of the remaining architects on, uh, on the gold mine, because why not? And three will become four, so that I don't accidentally send the architects away. But... Can I? Oh, I can. Okay. Let's get the uh, your Walter. I mean, someone did really take this level and think it through, cause there's no way I'm gonna let myself go down below like 50 supply or 70 even, cause 
I can keep all my units alive, basically. And I can keep getting more. So, and, so, the gold prices are, are okay, right? Because they're not that easy to get to, but they're not, like, insanely high. So that's nice. Okay. Hey, you. Yay! Giants have been destroyed, and it seems like this was the first attack wave. So, giants have been... I got myself rid of giants, but I think that a teal attack is going to be coming soon. Uh, do I want to get rid of the teal? I mean, the base looks pretty simple and small. The excess route is pretty large and open. This one is a bit, bit of a clusterfuck, but... I don't know about the griffins, though. Like, I don't expect them to have many ground units. But the Axis route seems even more of a clusterfuck than this one. Not really, but like, this is closer, the Teal base. Eh, I'll see in a minute how it goes. In the meantime, though... Oh yeah, let's regenerate near the fire. I don't know why don't the priests heal though. Everyone else is healing, but priests aren't. Oh, actually, I should heal my workers in case I forget again. Oh, and how about these? Oh, well, only this one is damaged. I can burrow it. Okay. But I won't do that. Ah. Uh -huh. Right, there's one more codex that I haven't found, but I think I know where it is. Here. Oh, did I? Oh, okay, it was a main quest as well. Okay, okay, okay. Is there anything else I can build? Oh yeah, I can, uh, I can get these. Fire Obelisk. So that's a guard tower, basically? Fine. Why not? If I can get a few guard towers, why shouldn't I? Not much help, but hey. It can attack both air and land, so that's a good sign already. I'll resave. And let's go deal with... What are they called? Larodar's forces. That Grove Keeper is a prick. I mean, in theory, I am the prick here. But the way he acts... I mean... I don't have a personal problem with him, I just have a problem with the way that he's said. Like, oh, we're, we're the elves, we're protectors of nature, we know better than you do. Where in reality we don't, ah. These protectors always deal a ton of damage to the priests. Except they all of a sudden don't like focusing them as much. Weird. To say the least. But okay. Alright. The obelisk has normal attacks, which could be pretty good against archers and pretty shitty against uh, enemy melee, if you get what I mean. Because melee receives extra from piercing. And uh, the ranged armor receives extra from... Wait, then... I... That doesn't make much sense, does it? Oh, no. 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 Ah, almost lost. Almost lost a few. Almost. Okay, well, scratch that. I thought there was a scenario in which you would run... You would want uh, normal attack instead of piercing. I guess they're... Isn't really? Or is there? Yeah, those those mana burns would be going towards the priests right now if I hadn't researched the immunity earlier. I'm glad that I did. Alright. The Chimera is pretty useful as well. Especially because of the damage it deals to buildings. Laradar can go F himself. Long story short. 
Well, breeds are pretty expensive, and I'm not surprised that that is the case. I'm actually glad that that is the case, because they really are good. Elite melee unit. What? There's something about a mage, but I don't have any uh, ancestral mages yet. Oh yeah, fuck you again. He's dead. I... Hmm. Do I? There's obviously a spot for one more, because upgrade for the priest is over here. And up... Come on. Upgrades for the the priest are over here, and upgrades for the mage are over here, right? Right under the mage, right? But I don't have an access to a mage yet. Oh, hey, you want to die? Sure. Wait. <laughs> Guess there will be no dying today. <laughs> At least not for the enemy, but for me instead. I thought this is higher than level 6. What? Because this is only up to level 6. I thought it w this was like level 8. Eh, whatever. Okay. Let's grab the emulation. I mean, I don't have the need to transform any of them. Because I right now I need just healing waves. The elite cards are... Great melee, so... But on the other hand, I want to see what the unit is. I am a bit curious as to what can it do. Oh, hey. Wanna join? No? Oh, tough luck, you're gonna be joining me anyway. Oh, the Hydra is a bit... Uh, bit of a setback, though, because its splash attacks are gonna be damaging my units as well. Eh, it's a bit of a complication. I wouldn't be mad if they actually killed it, but, you know, I can... Whoa, 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 hold up, hold, hold, hold the heck up. There's actually something going on, and uh, I'm, s I'm slowly not liking it. I'm slowly starting to not like what's going on, is what I'm trying to say. There. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll use re um, not redemption. What is what is it called? Resurrection. There. I could have actually mind control that one. Eh. I mean, hypnotized. Of course. All right, move on. Oh, hippogriff altar. Wild. Wildkin? Hold up, hold up. I want to see what can they do. Mine. What can you do? Nothing. Oh. But it looked so promising. Well, at least I can gather wood with him, if nothing else. Okay, fine. Alright, I better watch out for the help of my priests, because I think they're going to be really focused once they get into the attack range. What a surprise. Who would have thought? Alright, once I get rid of the Hippogriff base, uh, I'll have to look for the last Codex. Oh. Of course. It's good that it's not insta -kill because if it was, I would be reloading for the third time. <laughs> Because <laughs> my workers would die instantly as well, so what would I do? I'd be just sitting watching my base and praying that enemies don't attack. Oh, and yeah, I could keep... I could try to defend with any units that are mind controlled and with the Sage. I think I would be able to defend my base with just these. But... Hey, I... Losing all of this... Wouldn't be easy to get it back, would it? Whoa. 
this is real immersive. I, I, it almost feels like it's coming out of the screen. Eh, not really. Just trying to make a joke. All right. Where's the? There's one that's really damaged. Where is it? What are you doing over? Th How the heck? Okay, I, I don't think I want to. Where's it now? Where did it go? There it is. There. Hydra's getting hurt again. Actually, it's getting hurt more than... Uh... Okay, never mind. If for a second, it looked like it's gonna be hurt for more than I can out-heal. There. And right now, I'm just gonna have to look for the last codex. Good. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so I'll finish some of the upgrades, because why not? Actually, I should have done these. What am I doing, even? Alright, the next time that I'll forget, they would die, so I'll have to just burrow them and let them regen. Actually, did any of these die? Yeah, I lost one, so I'll have to burrow them, let them regen. Okay. They must have encountered some hot geyser, because... See those bubbles and the water? <laughs> I mean, they must have encountered a geyser while burrowing in the ground. Alright. Alright. Mm. Do I really wanna... I don't wanna convert a priest, but... Yeah, fine. Let's see what can it do. Oh, 150. Uh, you will do it. Oh, they can transform back. Immobile Serpent Ward. Eh, that's okay. Cloud is the real winner here. Okay. Shame that the Drake doesn't have uh, magic immunity while... I mean, the Priest doesn't have magic immunity while in form of a Drake. But the fact that he has Cloud is pretty nice. Actually, really nice. And this is the last area, not that one. But I'll still have a look over there. Oh yeah, you wish. I want my priest back. Actually... Hmm. Hmm. Alright, Umbro. Get me some more gold, and you as well. Come on, there. Uh, like, if this is an elite... Not this. If this is an elite version of... Of the warrior, then... What is the regular version? Is it like 800 health, 200 mana, 20 damage, 5 armor? That's not all that great. That, uh, at least it doesn't sound that great. Like, where are ya? There you are. I do want to have a look at this area. Considering that I have no more main quests after I pick up the last codex, right? Or, well, after I check what will the last codex leave behind. Or is it just for, like, a cinematic? Yeah, I don't know, let's have a look. There's nothing over here. Okay. I'll just get the priest back. In case something happens and a new main quest will appear. Research. I just want to be sure that it doesn't get stuck anywhere. Alright. Oh, whoops. Okay, but I'm getting a hang of it. And actually, if I if I converted enough Wildkin, I could just forget the Architects and turn into a Hippogriff race. Eh? How does that sound? Uh, I think I want to leave the Neutralization Wand behind. Maybe the Moonstones, because I think they're useless. Like, 
The priests have much better ability and it costs just mana. So I'll do it like this. Give me that. There we go. Do I have to go there? Or will a cinematic trigger? Oh, it will. Why? Just tell me to... Why do you hate all life? That is very unusual from you. Why did you not answer to him? Because anyway, he never listens. It's true. He was warned like three times to step aside and he would survive, but he refused to... <laughs> That's that, that was a good, good cinematic. It was a nice one. Okay, that's it for this mission, and I'll see you in the next one.